Yes, so I have started the recording and now I am again sharing my screen. Okay, so hello everybody. My name is Kumar Saraf and uh, today we are going to see cyber security, demo session on cyber security. So this is a disclaimer. Whatever you will learn, understand in this course, please do not use it anywhere in a practice. Okay, if you use this knowledge in practice in hacking any of the website, then it will be completely uh, your fault and the uh, joyous technology or a trainer Kumar Sonar will not be uh, responsible for it. This is my profile. I have total 11 years of experience and uh, I have nine years of teaching experience and uh, two, two, uh, two, uh, six years of industrial, nine years of teaching. And uh, I have conducted many cyber security as well as plunk trainings. And presently I'm associated with 22 different companies as a cyber security and plunk trainer. These are my achievements. I have conducted total 30 plus sessions of a cyber security and Splunk, 18 plus industries. For 18 plus industries, I have conducted these sessions. I have three Indian patrons, four book chapters, 10 papers. Uh, okay. Who is there? Can you please switch to the mic? Everybody? Okay, I have muted to everybody. If you want to say anything, you can send a message to me in the chat box. So these are my achievements. I have three Indian patents, four book chapters, 10 papers published, copyright, second university topper, achieved 90.63 percentile in gate. I have qualified PhD entrance test in 2017, won many prizes and acting as a reviewer of an international journal. So very first, why cyber security is required? Why we are going to learn this ethical hacking course? So what has happened? There are many news where cyber crime has happened in day-to-day -day life. We can see all the news in a newspaper, in a news channels, everywhere. Okay. So here few of the news are given. For example, four people are arrested by police for uh, uh, starting the crypto racket with the Pakistan link. Eight fraud to phone attack has happened. Many ransomware attack has happened. Daily cyber stalker has performed, uploaded some of the pictures, videos of the people in unauthorized manner. And uh, 3.17 million cyber crimes noted in uh, India in last 18 months. Russian hacking groups performed the brute force attack. API most wanted Russian national uh, accused of running dark web marketplace. Scottish mental health perform some attack. So these are the various types of attack. So to overcome this attack, we need a cyber security professional. Okay, uh, what, what is happening? I'm writing here by which you can understand in the better manner. So many attacks are happening. We can say these as a cyber attacks. And to overcome this attack, We need cyber security professional. So what has happened? This cyber security professional is a hacker. Okay. Professional means a hacker. But this hacker performs the hacking in the ethical way. That's why this hacker is called as an ethical hacker. So in this course, we are going to understand certified ethical hacking course. Okay, I'm going to teach you certified ethical hacking. And uh, this course of a duration of 30 hours. Okay, then... Uh, This course will have a MCQ type of questions. And uh, if you want to take a certification of this course, then you can take this certification from EC Council 
USA. Okay. I will only teach you the course along with demo. Okay. I will teach you. Course with demo, complete demo. All the uh, hacking, I will show you how to perform the hacking and everything you can understand because of this. After that, I will also take four MCQ test to prepare for this course. Then I will also provide you the presentations. Because of it, what will happen? Even if you complete this course and after a few years, if you forgot something, you can contact me or you can simply see the presentation or the recording and you can understand, you can memorize everything what you have forgotten in a few of the years. So in this manner, I will teach you everything along with the recording. You will get a recording as well as presentations. Too memorize all these things so because of this course you will easily get a job of a certified a cyber security professional and which are the advantages of this course we are going to see this now so these are some of the companies these are the indian companies i'm going to show you here so they are providing for a fresher certified ethical hacker of a package of 1 million to 0 0.5 million if you have a ex, you are experience holder, then in India, in a foreign countries, you will get a very good package from 2 million to 5 million. You can get a package there. So these are some of the job vacancies I have shown you over here. By which you can get the job after completion of this course. So these are again a few of the vacancies shown over here. These are different career options. After completion of this course, you can join any company as a security analyst or as a security architect or as a security developer, security engineer, then a, a security administrator, then a cryptographer. These are the various positions where you can apply after completion of this course. Who can learn this course? If you uh, many of the people wants to learn this course, but they are very much doubtful whether they are perfect for this course or not. So basically this course is for everyone. You can see here, everyone else, everybody can learn this course. Even if you have completed, uh, you are 16 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, then everybody can learn this course. Okay. And if you have a management and C suit, or you are developer, you are system admin, you are network admin, security analyst, security engineer, security architect, then you must learn this course. It will be very good for you if you learn this course. It will be beneficial thing in your job uh, if you learn this course. And if you are working somewhere, if you have your own shop, own garage, anything, and if you want to enter into the cyber security domain, you can definitely learn this course. So what are the benefits of this course? Very first, in this course, there is no mathematics required. Because what has happened, some of the software field, like a, a admin field, development field, okay, like a Python programming, everywhere programming is required, mathematics is required, and everything is very much crucial. You cannot understand it in a single day. But I can promise you, if you learn this course, you can understand everything within next 30 days only. Because I will provide you, you thorough knowledge of this cyber security field along with the practical. Also, it is a chance to work with the secret agencies. Cyber security is an evergreen field. Because every industry, the industry which works with the internet, they require cyber security professional. Because what is cyber security? Cyber security means security of internet or cyber against the cyber attack. Variety of industries to choose. Because if you learn any other course, then there is a specific domain where you can apply. 
but if you learn this course there are variety of the industries every industry requires cyber security professional that's why it is very easy for you to get the job there are multiple abroad opportunities suppose you are learning this course and you want to move outside of your country then you can easily get a job in all over the world this cyber security professional job will never get boring why is it so because what has happened suppose you learn this course and after learning this course you have joined some of the company so whenever the new cyber attack will happen you have to understand this attack you have to solve the problem of infrastructure security in a day to day life so it is a challenging kind of a thing and you will never get bored by doing this job this course will improve your social impact how is that possible because suppose you go anywhere and you are saying there that i am a cyber security professional then there is a very good impact social impact everybody can respect you hey you are a cyber security pro pro professional and you are very helpful for our country okay in this manner you can started thinking like a hacker after completion of this course so these are all the advantages of this course after that there is one another thing if you learn this course then you can perform bug bounty i know few of you knows the bug bounty few of you don't know the bug bounty so very simple bug bounty is a very simple thing suppose i have my company which has a name xyz i have created some of the software some of the android application ios application few of the websites i want to check whether this website this software is secure or not what i will do i will directly publish this website url this software uh, on bug bounty website like a bug crowd fire bounty hacker one and i will ask to all over the world hacker of all the over the world hack my website hack my software i will invite them to hack if they have hacked my website they found some vulnerabilities some virus some malware in my website or android application or ios application then i will give them some of the reward for example i will give them 100 dollar for a single bug or 1000 dollar if a bug is very major so after completion of this course you can work as a bug bounty hunter so what is the role of bug bounty hunter role of bug bounty hunter is go to that bug bounty website see which are the various new websites new application new android new ios applications are there new softwares are there you have to hack that website that thing that software and if you found any bug you have to create one report hey the report is like that for example suppose you have hack the website www.xyz.com you have to create a report okay i have hacked this url and i have found that this url is vulnerable to cause attack if you prepare this kind of a report in if you send this report to that company to that to their email address they will immediately contact you they will show you how you have performed the attack show us that if you prove that this you are is really vulnerable to the dos attack they will immediately reward you 1000 dollar to 100 dollar so by sitting at a home no need to go anywhere you can earn millions of amount so this is the use of a bug bounty so it is a fantastic kind of a thing and many people have engaged their time to perform the full time bug bounty and to earn the money by sitting at home so i have already told you these are all the websites where you can perform the bug bounty which are the main attraction of this course i will teach you android hacking then i will teach you wifi hacking then i will teach you how to perform various kind of a security like a cryptography technography etc so i will teach you how to perform website hacking 
so these are all the advantages or attraction main attractions of this course who can learn this course many of the people have one doubt in their mind hey i know i don't know linux i don't know networking i don't know scripting i don't know any programming i don't have any programming knowledge whether i can learn this course so definitely for this course there is no any prerequisite you can see here i have written very clearly no prerequisites are required because in this course i will teach you all the required commands of linux all the things which are required for this course networking things all the bash scripting commands i will teach you all these things so you can understand all these things because of this cyber security course so if somebody is saying me that hey i know linux so it is a well and good you can understand this thing in a easy manner if somebody is saying me that i know linux as well as bash scripting that will be fantastic thing you can understand this cyber security course very easy but if somebody don't know anything then also i am with you always and i will teach you this course in a very slowly slowly manner by which you can understand this in a very clear and concise manner and you can apply this knowledge by your own now questions anybody has any question you can unmute your mic and you can ask me a question please hello participant am i audible to you no any question you can send me a question in a message or you can ask me here you can unmute and ask me okay whether am i audible to you or not yes that's right what is the cost of this course yes my friend amit will be there he will inform you uh, all the details regarding cost when you have to join with what will be the schedule everything you will understand uh, with the by contacting to my friend what is cryptography yes i will definitely give you the answer of a cryptographic question in this demo session only i will show you everything is there any another question i will show you the practical of cryptography after some time duration of course yes duration of a course is a 30 to 35 days i am preferring 30 days duration but if you require 2 uh, 3 4 hour more then also i i can i'm ready to give that hours yes is there any another question that's great okay is there any exam after completing training uh yes i will take four mcq test okay miss joytrace technology will take four mcq test for you okay and uh, yes these are all this for the test uh, four test will be free and this test only for you to check your knowledge whether you have understood this course or not how many hours session daily yes it is depends on the student and uh, daily i am taking two hours of session mostly i am preparing uh, weekend saturday sunday how can i enroll enroll from bangladesh and payment detail yes definitely uh, from all over the world many people will enroll for this course so definitely even if you are in any of the country you can enroll for this course no any problem do we need to know network fundamentals no absolutely no simran if you don't know network fundamental no problem i will teach you network fundamental but if you know network fundamental if you check one to youtube video to understand network fundamental it will be easy for you to understand this course okay for the enrollment of this course you can contact to this number you can ask all the question regarding cost and regarding uh, schedule of this course everything you can ask here payment detail will be given by you uh, given to you by amit will it be feasible as study and this i don't have a laptop okay uh, shreyas kadam if you don't have a laptop uh, means you can definitely understand this course but you can't practice if you want to practice definitely you need a laptop and you should have a laptop okay what will be the configuration of a laptop i can write here 
okay laptop should have at least 4 gb to 8 gb ram okay then this laptop should have 200 gb hard disk at least minimum 200 gb hard disk it should have then laptop should have at least i3 processor then laptop should have at least windows 10 these are all the basic requirements for this course if you have this kind of a configuration it will be better for you to learn this course it, it will be easy for you to understand and practice this course Okay, is it a WhatsApp number? Yes, definitely. It is a WhatsApp number. You can contact to him on WhatsApp also. I think uh, most of the questions I have given the answers. Okay, and will it be flexible as a study? Definitely. Yes, it is a flexible to study. No problem. You can learn from anywhere, anytime, whatever you want. So I think we should move further towards the practical session. Real time scenario. I'm going to show you why cyber security is that much important. Okay, how serious it is. So, this is one of the website, and this website is called as a threat map. So, because of this website, you can check which different kinds of a cyber attacks are happening in all over the world. You can check it. See that China is doing attack on Ukraine, United States is doing attack on India. Okay. These are all the cyber attacks. Today, for today only, total 7 billion, more than 7 billion, around 8 billion attack has happened, cyber attack. If you see red color line, it is a very dangerous kind of attack. If you see yellow color line, it is a less dangerous attack. So in this manner, these are all the cyber attacks. So every day, around 8 to 10 billion cyber attacks are happening in all over the world. You can see on the left hand side various names of a cyber attack like a VOIP, okay, and all these things. On the right hand side, you can see top targeted countries Mongolia, Georgia, Indonesia, Nepal. You can see top targeted industries also here education, healthcare, government. Okay, so you can see every day multiple attacks are happening, very huge amount of cyber attacks are happening. So there may be one question. If all these cyber attacks are happening, then why we are not trying to reduce this attack? So, cyber security professional or ethical hacker are not reducing any attack. If you are thinking like that, it is definitely wrong thing. What they are doing? Cyber security professional and ethical hacker only saving our own infrastructure, our own industry infrastructure against the cyber attack. So this is the main responsibility of a cyber security professional. That's why nobody is there to reduce these kind of attacks. There is one more question I can see. Is there any note PDF provide on your side? Definitely. I will provide you. I will provide you. I'm writing in a chat box. All the presentations. plus recording of all these sessions. Okay, I will provide you all these things. So now we will move further and you can see which are the different kind of a hackers. So there are three kinds of a hacker. First is a black hat hacker, second is a white hat hacker and third is a gray hat hacker. Who is black hat hacker? Suppose any person knows all the hacking skill, how to perform the attack, and if he will perform the attack for a financial gain, then this is called as a black hat hacker. Means he is using his hacking skill in a bad manner. He is doing uh, attack on some of the banks, some of the industries, and he is uh, using his skill for a wrong work, and this is called as a black hat hacker. Now, who is white hat hacker? Suppose some of the professional who knows all the attacks, but he is using his knowledge to secure any IT industry environment infrastructure, then it is called as a white hat hacker. And who is gray hat hacker? Gray hat hacker is a person who is performing hacking only for a personal enjoyment purpose or a learning purpose. Now you are a gray hat hacker during this course. After completion of this course, you will become a white hat hacker. 
but uh, i should suggest you you should never become a black hat hacker even if you get any kind of amount for this these are the various websites we will try during this hacking skill all these websites are provided by us government these are 40 plus websites so why these websites are there you can perform hacking of this website and it is absolutely free to perform the hack this is not a crime if you perform the hacking of a facebook or a gmail or a google it is definitely a serious crime so i suggest you please never perform hacking of these kind of a websites these are various cyber laws in india because i am from india that's why i am showing you cyber laws of india for example suppose any hacker is trying to tamper any computer document publish any photo any video perform any unauthorized access to any system breach confidentiality of any person any anyone then they will have a 3 to 5 years of imprisonment and 2 lakh rupees fine 2 lakh means 0.2 million rupees fine so in this manner if any hacker is performing or using this knowledge in an unethical manner then they will have a huge amount of a fine as well as imprisonment for many years now i will show you one of the demo of a sql injection attack now sql is a one of the language by which you can create a database so database means what suppose you are working in some of some of the company you are in a school college then they will have a information of all the students all the employee in the form like that first name last name middle name address phone number email id etc so this database is created with the help of a sql language so because of this sql injection attack we can modify add delete record and we can download all the records of the victim computer into our computer so i will show you how to perform the sql injection attack you can see this if you write this thing on a google then you will see many websites so out of this most of the websites are vulnerable to the sql injection attack so anybody can perform sql injection attack on all these websites yes what is vulnerability that's great it is a fantastic question so vulnerability is a loophole or shortcoming in any website or application okay this is called as a vulnerability so whenever i will say vulnerable or vulnerability it means that there may be some loophole or some of the problem in that website or application because if there is no vulnerability then we can say that your system your computer your website your application is 100% secure but in all over the world no any system is 100% secure till today every system can be hacked by hacker so right now we will perform sql injection attack here i am opening the terminal here and we will perform this attack so for the demo purpose i will take one of the website because it is a crime to perform attack on any of the website that's why i am doing hacking of this website test php website and it is a testing website is it possible to hack a website without id or primary key in url yes yes we can hack any website without any id or any primary key so very first to perform this attack i am using the first command which is called as a sql map if you want i can give this command to you here as sql map is a command so sql map is one of the tool which we are going to use to perform the sql injection attack i am maximizing my screen by which you can see it in a better manner i think it is readable now correct then we will perform we will write second command 
I'm writing this command over here, copying this command and then pasting it over here. So we will first try to understand this command and then we will run this command. So this command, you can see SQL map hyphen U, hyphen U is URL. Okay, so this is a URL you can see over here. After that, hyphen hyphen DBS. DBS means we want to see which different kind of databases are available there in this website to hack. So you can see here, there are two databases to hack. Which are these two databases? You can see the name here, Accurate and Information Schema. These are the two databases, okay. So this website has created these two databases with the help of a SQL programming language. So we are going to perform the hacking of any one of them. So I'm using the next command. I'm showing you that. So what is that command? SQL map hyphen U and name of the website hyphen D. Hyphen D means name of the database, which is the database. Accurate is a database. Hyphen hyphen tables. Hyphen hyphen tables means which are the different kinds of tables are available there. So we will see this information by running this command. Okay. I'm once again writing this command because it is uh, difficult to see this. That's why what I'm doing, I'm writing a run command. Clear and I'm clearing the screen and then I will again write this one. Okay, I think I have copied that hash also. That's why the command is not running. I should remove that hash from here. Yes, so you can see hyphen D means name of database. We are hacking accurate database. Hyphen hyphen tables means we want to get the tables. So we will check how many tables are present over there in this database. You can see there are artist table, cards table, catalog table, feature table, guestbook table, then pictures table, products table, and users table. So these are all the different tables are available in the database. Now what we will do, we will extract the information of a columns, okay, from a users table. So what I'm doing, you can see, I'm simply writing this command, we have written here hyphen hyphen tables. So instead of that, now I'm writing hyphen T. And then I'm writing name of the table. And then I'm writing hyphen hyphen columns. So very first, I want to get the column names. In a users table, I have selected one of the table, which is a users. And I want to extract the columns. So which columns are available there? There are address column, card column, CC column, email column, name column, password column, phone column, and username column. Now I'm writing a further command. And what I'm doing, I, I want to extract the information of this column like a See that I'm writing here hyphen C email name and pass. So I want to extract the information of email column, name column, and password column. So you are going to see this column information here. You can see the information is there. We have extracted the information of the database email at the rate email.com, John Smith, and test. This is the information. Test is a password, name is a John Smith, and email is an email address, email.com. In this manner, you can perform the hacking. 
is same command for os so yes you can same command to hack any database using kali linux but database should be prepared by sql only if database is prepared by sql you can definitely hack this database with the help of this commands okay could you use the example with the https url so uh, you have many https urls also you can use that because uh, i have a permission to use demo url only that's why i can't use any uh, illegal kind of a url which is started from https but yes there are many demo url which are started by https you can try it why use kali linux yes it is a very fantastic question so kali linux is one of the operating system where all the hacking tools are already available pre installed that's why we are using it now whether you can perform the attack without kali linux also definitely you can perform the attack using windows using mac using any operating system but you have to install this tool from outside and then you have to perform this attack so our time and our memory space for installation of this tool uh, all these things we have to save that's why we are using kali linux where ready made tools are available over there so without kali linux also with the help of windows also we can perform this attack in this actual course i will show you how to perform the attack using the windows okay so in this manner we have extracted the information of one of the database now and we have performed the sql injection attack now i'm going to show you the next thing which is a cryptography one of the participant have asked me the question what is cryptography so here is the answer cryptography is one of the methodology by which you can perform security of a data for example you are sending a plain text plain text means message which can be read by anybody for example i am sending a message now i am writing my name here okay kumar sonar password i am writing this kind of a name here okay and I, i want to send this information to my friend but what will happen if a hacker will be there during our path he can read this information that's what why what i am doing i am using cryptography and because of cryptography what will happen this information will be like this okay this information will be like this when my friend will get the information i have already used one of the password to encrypt this information this is called as encrypted information my friend will use one another or the same password to decrypt this information once my friend will decrypt this information he will get the original text so in this information this is called as a plain text because it is not encrypted okay then this is called as a cipher text because this is encrypted and this is called as a plain text again because it is decrypted so in this manner anybody can perform encryption decryption with the help of a cryptography so cryptography is for securing the data to make it unreadable non readable for any of the hacker so even if he perform the attack he can't read the information there are two types of cryptography first is a symmetric second is a asymmetric symmetric means suppose i am using cryptography to secure my data i am using one of the key i am using the key 1 2 3 4 i am sending this data to you and if you need to use the same key 1 2 3 4 to decrypt that data then it is called as a symmetric key cryptography this cryptography have various types or various examples like advanced encryption standard rc4 rc5 rc6 data encryption standard these are the various types of a symmetric key cryptography so and another type is a asymmetric cryptography 
What is asymmetric key? Suppose you are any of the student. I am taking a name here. I am taking a name of Ajay. Ajay is one of the student. Okay. Ajay, I want to send data to the Ajay. So public key of Ajay is known to everybody. You can see. Okay, there are two keys in asymmetric key cryptography. Public key of Ajay known to everyone. Okay, and private key of Ajay. Known to only Ajay. Okay, so what I'm doing? I'm sending an information to Ajay, and I'm using to transfer the data. I am using public key of Ajay. Okay, I am sending the data to the Ajay. Once Ajay will get the encrypted data, Ajay will use his own private key to decrypt the data. So in this manner, in asymmetric cryptography, there is no any need of a key sharing for sending the data. There is public key for receiving the data. There is a private key. That's why this is asymmetric key cryptography is more secure as compared to the symmetric key, key cryptography. So these are the two different types of cryptography I have shown you over here. After that, we will see further thing. Now I'm going to show you demo of this symmetric key cryptography. So there is one of the website. We will see this website. I'm also sending this website to you in a chat box. So you can try at home also. No problem. So we are using this in cyber website to perform the Symmetric cryptography. Okay, there is one of the question. Explain the importance of a cybersecurity triads. Okay, so triad means in a cybersecurity, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. These are the three different things which are very much important. And this is called as a cybersecurity triad. One of the student, Edward Adamoko, have asked this question. I'm just giving the answer to that question in a short. So what is confidentiality? Confidentiality means securing your data. Okay, I'm writing here. Which are the three, three different security parameters? Confidentiality. Okay, second is a integrity. And third is a availability. So confidentiality means to make your data private integrity means to this allow anybody to alter your data means your data should not be altered and availability means your data should be always available to the authorized user. So these are three parameters in cyber uh, triad. Okay. So all these three things are very much important because if confidentiality increases, integrity and availability will be hampered. If availability increases, then confidentiality and integrity will hamper. So if any one thing is increases, then other two things are hampered. I will show you all these things in my actual sessions. Okay. So these are the cyber security triad. So we are performing the encryption decryption. Now I'm taking one of the name here to perform this. So I'm checking the name whose name I should take. Wait for a minute. Okay, I'm taking a name of uh, Babu 
and ubuntu okay suppose i am sending one of the information for example i am sending the information of uh, babu a b c d e f g this is one of the name suppose suppose i am sending this message to my friend and i am clicking on n cipher it it will ask me for a password i am writing a password 1 2 3 4 i am pressing enter after that i am clicking on n cipher it this data will be encrypted so this will be the encrypted information so what i will do i will send this information to my friend and nobody can understand what i have sent even though hacker will be there in the path he cannot understand so to decrypt this information my friend use decipher it and then my friend will write the password 2 3 4 and because of that this information will be decrypted and original information we will get here yes see that i have written a password or name babu a b c d e f g in this manner anybody can use this n cipher it website to perform symmetric key cryptography i am showing you second thing which is a asymmetric key cryptography there is one of the website which is called as a devglan i am again writing the name of this website here this is the name of the website this website we are using for performing asymmetric key cryptography so what is asymmetric key i have already tell you there are two keys public key and private key so i am using rsa algorithm to perform it very first i am clicking on generate key pair so key pair will be generated very first i am using public key i am copying public key and then i am writing one of the message here this time i am writing a message hello okay i am writing a message uh, my pin is 4567 okay i am writing this kind of a message here and then to send this message i need to encrypt it with the help of a asymmetric key cryptography so i am entering the public key here after that i am clicking on encrypt option here so this will be the encrypted message after that i am writing the encrypted message over here and after writing the encrypted message i am writing this private key to decrypt that message i'm clicking on decrypt and you can see my original message will be appear my pin 4567 so if i will send this message to any of my friend he can use public key private key and he can decrypt that message with the help of a private key anybody can encrypt that message with the help of a public key so in this manner this is called as a asymmetric key cryptography for any further information you can contact to the amit this is the name and number of amit and uh, thank you very much i have completed my session now if you have any question please ask me that is it possible to track the hacker if the vm is deleted okay bhupa nanda kadir have asked this question to me if hacker have deleted the vm can we hack him 101% every hacker can be easily get traced because cyber crime department of uh, india of a uh, us of every country is very strong now suppose i am a hacker i have uh, my government or uh, uh, legally every tool i have no permission to use all the tools but cyber crime department can use all the tools which are available there in a black market in a on other markets and with the help of all, the, all these tools any hacker can be definitely traced out even if it will get some time but everybody can be traced out okay please ask me the another question uh, we will end up this session in next 4 to 5 minutes how to encode a decrypted password yes decrypted password why okay i have already taught you how to encode and decode correct encryption means encode and decryption means decode so i have already shown this practical to you bhubananda khadir
is the same command for any os yes so these are the uh, commands which are present in linux so if you are using any other os then there are some other commands but the command doesn't matter in a cyber security if you understand the process you can easily use all the commands you can get the command from google also it is very easy to use that i will show you how to perform the hacking with the help of a windows as well as with the help of a linux operating system here the url is not okay all, all other questions i have already entertained so this is my session so if you have any question you can ask me or shall we end up this session please tell me that are all companies into asymmetric key cryptography yes anub this is a very uh, fantastic kind of a question so all the companies are uh, using asymmetric or symmetric key cryptography for example our uh, whatsapp our whatsapp is using aes 128 bit symmetric key cryptography okay so this is depends on their priority all the companies are using some of the cryptography and uh, every company have different choices depends on their choice they are using different kind of a cryptography what is salary package for a fresher okay if you are a fresher in india then you will easily get at least 0.5 million package i can show you some of the job i have already shown this job i am once again showing all this job to you these are some of the presently available jobs in india for a cyber security professional as a fresher you will get 0.5 million or 0.3 million package is recording available definitely recording of all the sessions will be available also recording of this demo session will be available you can contact to the amit and you can take the recording from him if i don't know which algorithm they use for encryption the password then how will it possible to decrypt definitely so for decryption of any of the theme or for hacking no need to know algorithms you can use various things like you can use various tools you can uh, use brute force attack there are various methodologies to know the password to know all the things no need to know any algorithm to perform the hacking whatever the things are required i will teach you in this course is there any another question so i hope all of you will enroll for this course and you will have a maximum participation so i can definitely enjoy if you have more question during the course and uh, if you enjoy this course but brute force take time to decrypt definitely brute force attack takes very huge time to decrypt but i have already taken one of the example of a brute force i am not saying that every time you have to use brute force some of the time you are using brute force some of the time you are using some other tools to perform decryption of a password secure password okay amit uh, shall we stop this session or there is any another question yes welcome all of you hello amit are you there is a man in the middle attack critical uh, no nothing is critical here if i will teach you definitely edward adobako no anything is critical everything is very easy and you can understand and grasp all this thing in a very easy manner and i promise you you will definitely enjoy all this session and you will uh, think that yes i have earned something i have learned something and uh, you will very much enjoy after completion of this course and during this course also yes uh, welcome vijay welcome sai
ओके आई थिंक देयर इज नो एनी क्वेश्चन सो वी कैन स्टॉप दिस सेशन नाउ अमित शाल आई स्टॉप and uh, once again i am saying you if you have any of the question you can definitely contact to this number and uh, he will definitely help you for this bye bye see you have a good day